Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss simplified memory bounded A star search algorithm in artificial intelligence with the help of a simple solved example. Simplified memory bounded A star search algorithm is a shortest path algorithm which is based on the A star search algorithm. The main difference between SMA star and A star search algorithm is SMA star algorithm uses the bounded memory, that is, uh, there is a limit on the memory usage in SMA star algorithm. But the A star search algorithm might need an exponential memory. Because of this, it may happen that the memory get exhausted and we may not get the goal node using A star search algorithm. To overcome this exponential memory usage, we use something known as SMA star algorithm in this case. Like A star search algorithm, SMA star algorithm uses the same formula to calculate the cost of each of these nodes here. That is, f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n here. G of n is the actual cost to reach from one node to another node. That is this 4. 4 is the actual cost to reach from S to A here. Now this 3. 3 is what? The heuristic value. That is the probable distance to reach the goal node. So that is nothing but H of n here. Using these two things, we calculate the cost of each node in this case. Now we will take a simple example to understand the working principle of a simplified memory bounded ASA search algorithm. In this case, we have been given a graph with uh, five nodes here where S is the source node and G is the goal node. The numbers written in black color are the actual cost and the one which is written in red color are the heuristic values for each of those nodes in this case. In SMA star algorithm, uh, we need to define the memory size. Uh, in this case, we have considered the memory size is equal to three. The meaning of this one is at a given point of time, we can store the three nodes in memory. This is the formula used to calculate the F value for each of these nodes here. Now, uh, in SMA star algorithm, we start at the source node and then uh, we will try to expand this source node uh, based on the available paths and so on. So, first I will write the source node here, that is, uh, the source node is stored into memory here. On the left hand side, I have written the G of n and H of n here. The G of n for this S is 0 because uh, from S to S, the value is 0. So, that is the one thing I have written here. And the heuristic value of this S is 3. So, that is what is written here. And if I add these two things, I will get the F value that is 3 in this case. Now, what we need to do, we need to expand this uh, S based on the available paths. So, how many number of paths are available? We can go from S to A, we can go from S to B as well as S to C here. Now, uh, I will do one thing. I will expand the path S to A here. The meaning of this one is I need to store the node A into memory. So, first uh, what we need to do is uh, on the left hand side of this node, I have written uh, 4, that is nothing but the actual cost and the heuristic value of A is equal to 0. If I add these two things, I will get F of N in this case, that is nothing but the cost of A here, which is equal to 4 in this case. Now, how many number of nodes are present in the memory? There are two. So, still there is one more place into the memory. So, we will expand the path S to B here. Again, B will be added into memory. Memory will become full in this case. Similarly, on the left hand side, I have written G of N and H of N of this B, that is 3 and 2. On the right hand side, I have written F of N, that is the addition of these two things, that is 5 here. Now, uh, we have expanded A and B. There is one more path to expand from uh, S here, that is S to C. But there is no place into uh, memory because we can store maximum 3 nodes into memory. So, what is the solution for this one? At this point of time, what we need to do is, uh, we need to uh, consider all the child nodes. And then we need to check the F value. The one node which is having maximum F value, we need to remove it from the memory and then we have to add the new node here. At this point of time, we have two child nodes that is A and B. The A's F value is 4 and B's F value is 5. Uh, B's F value is uh, more compared to A. So, we remove this uh, B from this uh, memory and then we will add C here. But one thing we need to remember, whenever we remove B from the memory, we have to add this B as a forgotten node uh, so that uh, whenever we uh, try to search uh, for this goal node, it may happen that B may become the most promising node. So, that's the reason what we do. We will add this B as the forgotten node into this uh, parent node here and then we will add C into the memory. So, that is what I have shown in this particular uh, diagram. So, B is removed from the memory, C is added C's G value is 5 and H value is equal to 1. When I add these two things, we will get F value 6. That's the one thing. 
because b is removed from the memory we have added b as the forgotten node into the parent so that is what i have written in this particular parenthesis here now one more thing you can notice here from s we have three paths we have expanded all three paths here because uh, all the three paths are expanded what we need to do is we need to update the parent nodes f value here so original parent nodes f value is equal to 3 now the parents f node value will become the minimum f value of the children's here so a and c are the two children's so a's f value is 4 and c's f value is 6 between these two 4 is minimum so we remove this 3 and then we will add 4 here so this is how the uh, uh, graph will look like so what this particular graph indicates is s is a source node a and c are the children's the f value of s is equal to 4 and there is one forgotten node with the f value is equal to 5 in this case now what we need to do is uh, we have to start from one of these children between a and c a is the most promising node right now so we will consider a and then we will expand a here now when you try to expand a how many paths are available there are two paths one is towards s another one is towards g here so s is already considered so we don't consider it we will try to expand towards g here if you want to expand towards g again if you notice here s a and c are present into the memory the memory is already full because the size of the memory is how much three here so among these three we have to remove one node from the memory and then only we can add g into this uh, memory here so between a and c c is having more f value so we remove this c and then we will add g here that's the one thing we do but before we add g into memory what we need to do is we need to add c as a forgotten node here whenever we try to add c as a forgotten node uh, before we add it as a forgotten node we need to compare the f value of this one and the already forgotten uh, node here the already forgotten node is what b whose f value is 5 and the current uh, forgotten node is c whose f value is equal to 6 here between 5 and 6 5 is minimum so there is no need to add c as a forgotten node in this case b is the most promising node between b and c in this case now uh, we have removed c from the memory we need to add g so this is how the uh, graph will look like so we have removed c so there is no change with respect to forgotten node here and g is added as the one more node into the memory here on the left hand side of this g i have written the g value the g value of uh, uh, node g is equal to the actual cost that is uh, 4 plus 2 that is 6 and the heuristic value of g is equal to uh, 0 here that is what i have written the addition of these two things is equal to 6 over here now uh, once you come to this particular thing how many nodes are there into a memory s a and g are present into the memory we have reached the goal node g with the f value is equal to 6 here now uh, what we need to do we need to update the f value of a as well as the f value of s in this case so what we do we update the f value of a we replace this particular 4 by 6 in this case that's the one thing we do similarly we have to update the f value of this particular s also so we have to remove this particular 4 by 6 in this case but if i remove the f value of uh, s by 6 the f value of s will become 6 but the promising nodes f value is equal to how much 5 here so between these two which is better 5 is the better here because of that we don't update the f value of s to 6 here actually we update the f value of s to 5 in this case because of that the graph will look something like this here so the a's f value is updated from 4 to 6 here but the f value of s is updated from 4 to 5 rather than updating from 4 to 6 here i hope you understood why we have updated the f value of s from 4 to 5 because s has a forgotten node whose f value is 5 which is better than 6 here so because of that we have removed this 4 and then we have added a 5 in this case because we have considered b as the most promising node uh, whose f value is equal to 5 here uh, compared to this particular 5 a is f value 6 that is more so we remove this particular a from the memory if i remove a from the memory uh, the graph will look something like this so a is removed from the memory what is available in the memory b is present and c is present over here so this is how the graph will look like the a is uh, f value is equal to 6 and we have added one forgotten node for a because uh, for a there is another node here that is g so we have added it as a forgotten node here similarly we have updated the forgotten node of s also 
uh, the forgotten node of S is A here, whose F value is equal to how much? 6 in this case. So, B is uh, the promising node and C is the another promising node here. From B and C, we may reach the goal node with a minimum cost in this case. Again, we will start from either B or C here. Between B and C, uh, B is having the minimum F value. So, we will start from B in this case. Again, if you try to expand B, uh, how many nodes are there in the memory already? There are three nodes are there. That is S, B and C. It is already full. So, we have to remove one of these nodes. So, we will remove C from the memory here. So, if I remove C from the memory, again, we have to update the forgotten node of S here. The F value of C is 6. The forgotten node's uh, F value is also 6. So, there is no need to update it. Now, we will expand B. From B, there are two paths are there. Uh, B to S and B to G. S is already considered. So, we will consider B to G here. Now, whenever we consider B to G, uh, the G value of this particular path is 3 plus 2. That is the actual cost, which is equivalent to 5. Plus uh, the H value that is 0 here. So, that is what I have written here. The G value is 5, H value is 0, addition of these two things is equal to 5 here. And we have removed this C from the memory in this case. Now, uh, we have reached the goal node with the F value 5 here. So, what this uh, 5 indicates in this case is, now if you compare this 5 with the forgotten node, 5 is uh, better than this uh, forgotten node. So, there is no need to restore the forgotten node and then try to find the another uh, path here. So, this is the most optimal path to reach. Uh, the goal node from the source node that is S to B and B to G with the F value 5 in this case. So, this is how we can apply the simplified memory bounded ASA search algorithm to find the optimal path from the source node to the goal node. I hope the concept of a simplified memory bounded ASA search algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.